Hello, for this video, I did not put a sponsor plug in it. So if you want to support my channel, what I do on here, you can check out my color grading presets and my retouching tutorial over on my website. If you're someone that likes nice soft lighting in your portraits, just turn away, close your eyes, close the app because this is, <laughs> this is the complete opposite of that. This is a dramatic two light setup using only harsh lighting. We got a, a light behind the model, then we got a light in the front using a light projector. When you're placing your rear light behind the model, here's a little hack for you. You want to place it obviously pretty high up so it's not in the photo, but you want it to be in a position where it creates the shadow of the model directly in front of them. So if the shadow's just really long, that means that the light is too far back. You want it to be more like closer to the back of her head than the backdrop. What also helps if you did a squat pose or just laying on the background or sitting on the background pose, that's gonna help with you know being able to keep that shadow nice and compact and right in front of them. And now on the light in front, this, this is the Lindsay Adler optical spot and this is a light projection tool. I don't care what lens, what camera you buy. It could be five, ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars. It doesn't matter. This five hundred dollar investment, if you like lighting and you want to make your work stand out, this will do your work more justice than any other lens camera purchase. I promise you that. With this, I'm able to really control the lighting. I'm able to make the lighting less sharp or more sharp. And then it has some like built in light scrims that I'm able to really, really just shape out the light so I can create like a square, a rectangle, a triangle. Um, you also wanna place it to the side because there is gonna be some light spill on the background. You see that? So I placed it more at a, like a 45 degree angle to keep from any light spilling on the background. If I could change one thing about how I approached the setup last time, I wish I placed the front light a little higher because you know what happens when the lighting is like at eye level and forehead level? is that it's coming straight on. You know what happens when you have like a, a direct beam, you're not getting like those nice flattering shadows that you would normally get, right? Lighting is more natural when it comes from above. I wish I would have placed this light a little higher just so that I could get the shadows to fall a little bit, a little bit more naturally, but that's my fault. I got a little lazy. Um, my C-stand has like a little leg extension and I didn't want to grab another light stand, so I just used that. But overall, I do, I am happy with the outcome of the images. I think they look really good. If you want to try out this setup for yourself, but don't own, let's say, something like the optical spot, and you don't want to purchase it right now, or never want to purchase it, you could also get away with possibly using a reflector, or getting getting another one of those Westcott reflectors with a honeycomb grid, so that you can get like a, a more of a controlled beam on her. But the aesthetic of this is that you want really harsh shadows everywhere. Cause you don't, is you don't wanna mix, you know, the natural, like really nice soft light with the, the harsh light. It's just, I feel like it's just, this is meant to be like really like edgy. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't find the words. If you wanna see more stuff like this, like I feel like I have a, not, a lot of knowledge that I can drop. The problem is I feel the pressure of, um, creating some kind of masterpiece, you know, creating it, putting it, packaging it up in a way where it's like cinematic and lovely, you know, where I could just drop some knowledge quick. Like this video is not gonna take that long to edit because I'm just raw digging it, you know, you feel me? So one thing I am gonna ask of you is if you made it up to this point, and you're not subscribed, you know, subscribing is free and it allows me to kind of try to win your heart here, you know? If you don't like my content going forward, you could just unsubscribe, but I'd really, really appreciate that. Now, the zone, Martinez, Josh Warrington 2, it's about to start. I gotta get to that now, okay?